hi everyone and a big welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about some exciting new releases coming in 2021. So over the past couple of years I've done two anticipated releases videos per year. I typically do one for the releases coming in the first half of the year and then another one for the releases coming in the second half of the year but that just isn't going to cut it this year. My list of releases that I am excited about coming in 2021 is so long, so we are going to have to do three of these types of videos instead. In this video I'm going to be talking about books that are coming out in the first third of the year, January to April, and then we will worry about the later releases at another time. So I have around 20 books I think to talk to you about today. As always, we have quite a mix of books. It is mainly adult literary fiction, let's be honest, but we also have some poetry and some translated fiction. I already own copies of quite a few of these books, so a big thank you to all of the publishers who kindly sent me copies. I really do appreciate it. I'm super excited. So going in order of pub date, the first book I am very excited about came out on the 7th of January by Serpent's Tale and that is Detransition Baby by Tori Peters. This is one that I am actually already reading, I just <laughs> couldn't wait to start it. It follows the story of a man named Ames who detransitioned from living his life as a transgender woman a few years ago. Now the woman who Ames has been sleeping with is pregnant and Ames suggests a queer, non-conforming, non-nuclear family setup with the two of them and Ames's ex-girlfriend Reese, who is also a transgender woman, bringing up this child together. Doesn't this just sound great? Super current in terms of its themes, super on trend as well with its marketing and design. It has started off really strong, super engaging and interesting interesting. I'm just hoping it continues to live up because if it does this could be such a popular book this year. I'll report back. Next up a book coming out on the 19th of January by William Morrow and Co is The Divines by Ellie Eaton. I believe this novel explores the destructive relationship between two teenage girls moving between two timelines, one in present day LA and another in a girls boarding school in the 1990s. I believe it explores themes of memory and scandal, adolescent sexuality, female identity and the class divide. So this is the first book in what you will soon see to be a trend in publishing this year and indeed in this anticipated releases video. I have no idea why girls boarding schools, especially those with dark gothic edges to them are everywhere in books in 2021, but they are. Perhaps something to do with the escapism and the being away from home aspect. Perhaps also something to do with the popularity of Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier last year. Whatever it is, I am here for it. This sounds delicious. Next up, coming on the 21st of January by Picador is Luster by Raven Leilani. Man, I have been anticipating this book for for so long. All I know about this one is that it is supposed to be a darkly comic literary novel following a young black woman who is navigating life as an artist. I believe it is about sexuality and politics among other things. This book is already super popular due to it being released in the US before it's released in the UK. It has gotten so much hype it was on so many best books of the year videos. I just have no doubt that this book is going to be amazing and so me as well. It has my name written all over it. I'm very excited. Honestly, it sounds like perfection. Next up, coming on the 28th of January by Atlantic Books is Consent by Annabelle Leon. Or Lion. 
perhaps. This is another literary novel, this one following two sets of sisters from very complex families whose lives then intersect when a tragedy occurs. I don't know anything more about this tragedy, that is <laughs> literally all I know. This is supposed to be mysterious and apparently heartbreaking. We explore themes of family duty, resentment, regret, all themes that I find absolutely fascinating. I also love it when books focus on sibling relationships. And I love a dash of drama as well. Give me a tragedy any day. So yes, very excited to give this one a go soon. Also coming on the 28th of January, this one by Faber and Faber is A Crooked Tree by Una Mannion. Another literary novel, shock. I believe this novel is set in the 1980s and follows one family and one teenage girl in particular who have to deal with the fallout of one summer evening that goes terribly wrong. I believe the family are driving home one evening when the two kids in the back have a fight and the younger kid is made to get out of the car and walk home. Something about this idea just absolutely fascinates me. Obviously I love family focused, adolescent focused, tragedy centred novels. I also really love novels that focus in on a very specific period of time or a specific act and then just look at all of the reverberations from that. I hope this one is going to be gripping and perceptive. I've got really high hopes. Coming on the 2nd of February by Harper Perennial is We Can Only Save Ourselves by Alison Wisdom. This novel, I believe, tells the story of a teenage girl. She is a high achiever, a cheerleader, and a whole round good citizen. When one day she disappears with a male stranger to join a cult, along with some other young women who are seeking adventure and enlightenment. This sounds super intriguing. It actually sounds exactly like The Girls by Emma Klein and I'm really hoping, to be honest, that this book gives me what The Girls didn't. I found that book to be so totally average and a right letdown. I'm hoping for an examination of tight-knit communities and indoctrination. I'm wanting intoxicating, sharp writing and a tense electric atmosphere. I'm excited. Also coming on the 2nd of February, this one from the brilliant indie publisher and other stories is Passages by Anne Quinn. Now this book sounds bizarre. I'm not so certain that I'm going to be able to explain it very well, but from what I gather this novel follows two characters, one a woman who is in search of her brother and two a man who is actually the masculine reflection of the woman. I believe it is very poetically written, the form of the novel mirroring the character's schizophrenia, and I believe it explores different voices and the passing of time. I am so here for this. This sounds fascinating. I love experimentally told novels that play around with form and structure. I love character focused, voice centred novels. I don't know a ton about schizophrenia so I am hoping that this can give me some kind of insight into that. Although I will approach this one with caution in case it becomes triggering at all. But yes, I think this one sounds great. I'm really hoping it's a good one. On the 4th of February from Viking, we have Open Water by Caleb Azuma Nelson. This is another one that I'm actually already reading, having seen it on social media recently a ton. Set in southeast London, this is essentially a short little love story between two young black people who are both artists. That is really all you need to know. Firstly, let's acknowledge this book cover. Absolutely stunning. The colours, the photography, everything. They have pitched this 
just right. And this book is just everywhere right now. It is super contemporary, exploring really timely themes, super delicious. Very exciting that this is also by a debut author, some new talent. And this is certainly impressing me so far, so I think this is going to go down really well this year. Also coming on the 4th of February by The Borough Press, is Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. This is another one that people are already incredibly excited about, me included. The novel is told over two timelines, one in 1902 in a girls boarding school where girls end up dying due to some strange wasp attack. This then causes the school to close and 100 years later the school opens back up when a group of young actresses come to the school to film a movie about the school's curse. See, what did I say about female boarding school books with dark edges? So this one just sounds great to me, very exciting. I'm all about dark gothic novels every now and again and this one sounds precisely that. I love the sound of the focus on female characters, I believe we have some sapphic romances in here as well. Again, I'm going to use the word delicious. <laughs> I really hope this one is going to be as good as I think it will. Coming on the 18th of February by Doubleday is We Are Not In The World by Connor O'Callaghan. I believe this novel takes place over the course of one week when a heartbroken middle-aged man and his 20-something off-the-rails daughter drive a lorry from England to France. Throughout the course of this novel I believe we get to to piece together this family's story of grief and shame and love. This book just sounds fantastic, it has my name written all over it. Short focused time setting, a character focused parental relationship, exploring themes of love and scarring and healing. I think this is going to be an emotional one, I really hope it's going to be executed well. Very excited. Coming on the 19th of February by Nine Arches Press is The Oscillations by Kate Fox. So Nine Arches Press is another amazing indie publisher. They are one of my favourite publishers for contemporary poetry. This is a new contemporary poetry collection that sounds so current and interesting. I believe it explores distance and isolation in this age of the pandemic that we are all living through. And it explores these themes through the lens of being a woman and being northern and being neurodivergent, I believe. I am so excited for this one. Honestly, I'm always up for trying new poetry collections by this amazing publisher, but this one in particular just sounds so fascinating and poignant right now. I'm going to be picking this one up very, very soon. Also, can I just say these soft matte proof copies that they do? Perfection. Coming on the 25th of February by Daunt Books is Empty Houses by Brenda Navarro. Another indie pick, this one is a translated work of fiction, this one being from Spanish by Sophie Hughes. Set in Mexico, this novel centrally explores themes of motherhood and I believe it follows the story of two women, one whose three-year-old son has recently disappeared and the other who lives on the other side of the city who is protecting her recently stolen child. Doesn't this just sound so good? I am so intrigued to read from these two women's contrasting voices. I am so here for the exploration of motherhood and desire and regret 
and social pressures. This novel is also giving me massive lullaby by Layla Slamani vibes. Dark, psychological, translated, very literary. And I've been wanting something like that again for a while, so I'm super excited to see what this one has to offer. Also coming on the 25th of February by Carcanet Press, is Fleet by Judith Wilson. Like Nine Arches Press, Carcanet is another one of my favourite contemporary poetry publishers. They are amazing. This collection, at its heart, explores migration and displacement. I believe it draws a lot from history and lost voices, in particular from one woman who lived in the mid-1800s in London who was convicted of deserting her children. This sounds great, I love poetry that draws from history but ties it in really well with themes that are super relevant today, migration being a perfect example. I like the idea of the bird imagery which I believe recurs throughout this whole collection. I'm just very intrigued and excited, I can't wait to see what Judith Wilson has to say. Coming on the 4th of March by John Murray is Misplaced Persons by Susan Beale. This is a literary novel following a family who live in Brussels, although the parents are from America and England. I believe one of the teenagers in the family is really struggling with something when one of the parents decides to shelter a Syrian refugee, triggering an explosive train of events. Again, how good does this book sound? Very excited to be reading something so current and important, exploring the refugee crisis, presumably both on a large scale as well as how it affects this one specific family. I suspect this one is going to be emotional and hard-hitting. I certainly hope that it is. This is one that I am particularly excited for. Plus, I am absolutely in love with this cover. Next up, on the 25th of March by Tinder Press, is Common Ground by Naomi Ishiguro. This sounds like another straight up me character focused literary novel. It follows two young boys named Charlie and Stan who become best friends when they meet on their local common despite their very different backgrounds and the very different prospects that they face. Years later they meet again in London when they have embarked on very different paths. So this book has been compared to Tin Man by Sarah Winman, which you may know is one of my favourite books of all time. If this book has even an ounce of the grace and beauty and emotion that that book does, I'm going to love this. I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much to avoid being bitterly, bitterly disappointed, but I do think this one is going to be really good. Also on the 25th of March by William Heinemann, we have King of Rabbits by Carla Neblett. This one follows the story of a young mixed-raced boy named Kai who lives on a council estate in Somerset. I believe this novel is an exploration of Kai's family life, his various siblings and his parents who were involved in crime and some forms of addiction, as well as an exploration of Kai's friendship with a young girl called Safi at school, as well as their school pet rabbit named Flopsy. I believe this novel is essentially an exploration of working class men and race. I think it's going to be really beautiful and touching. I just have have a really good feeling about this one. 
The penultimate book in this video is coming on the 15th of April by W and N and it is Fidelity by Marco Miseroli. This is another translated novel, this one from Italian I believe by Alex Valente. It follows a married couple in their mid-30s who are both very much in love but both have sexual desires that aren't being met in their relationship. Years pass, they have a son, some secret turns up in the form of an anonymous book. This one just sounds interesting to me. I love novels that explore sexuality and desire and monogamy. I think this one is going to be quite gripping and kind of irresistible and I also read that this is soon going to be made into a Netflix series which is pretty exciting. And the final book I'm going to be discussing in this video is coming on the 29th of April and it is A Bear by Marion Engel. This one is also from Daunt Books. They are coming out with some quality this year. Set in Canada, I believe this novel follows the story of a shy, diligent librarian named Lou who is kind of dissatisfied with her life. She is then sent to a remote island to do some work for her local heritage institute and there she meets a bear. Firstly, can we just appreciate this proof cover? design team, this is so good. But the premise of this as well just has me. I have no idea why I want to read about a librarian who meets a bear, but I do. Margaret Atwood described this novel as being strange and wonderful, feeling as plausible as a kitchen while also feeling like a folk tale. Frankly, I don't know what any of this means, but I am here for it. I think this sounds odd and lovely and I can't wait to hear what it has to say. So those are some books coming out in January to April that I am most excited about. I hope you enjoyed hearing this list. I hope it introduced you to some amazing sounding books. Please let me know down below in the comments if you plan on reading any of these. Also tell me if there are any other books coming out in the first part of the year that I should know about. I can't wait to hear from you all down below in the comments. I hope you're all doing really really well and I will see you really soon with another video. Bye!